In the video today, I'm going over how to install a memory card on your Moto G Stylus 2024. Let's go ahead and get started. If you still have the box of your phone, look for this tool, it's called a SIM tool. This is what helps you to pop out the SIM card. If you don't have this, no problem. Find a paper clip, just simply bend it back and it will fit in the slot just the same. On the left side of the phone, you'll find your SIM card tray. You're gonna take that tool and insert it in the hole and give it one good push and you'll see your tray is gonna pop out just like that. And this is our SIM card tray, okay? Obviously this is the slot for your uh, carrier SIM card. So AT&T, Verizon, your service. And then you're gonna put your memory card just like that into this little slot. Now before inserting the memory card, a good test to do is to take your tray and simply try to turn it over. And if your SIM card falls out, it's not in properly. You want it to give it a nice push so that it's fitting plush in the slot. All right, so we got it in. Here we go. And we're just gonna give it a final push in. Now, one disclaimer, um, it took me a few times to get the card flat and to get it in. Um, don't force the tray in. If it's not going in, take the tray out and adjust the memory card and then put it back in. The last thing you wanna do is damage the memory card or damage the phone while you're putting the tray back into the phone, okay? So the memory card is in. Here's what you wanna look for once you install the memory card. Swipe down from the top of the screen and you're gonna see a pop-up like this. It says Samsung SD card. So the phone is basically telling you that it's it has recognized that you have inserted a memory card because you'll see this pop-up, Samsung SD card. There's a little arrow to the right here I can tap and it says for storing photos, videos, music, and more. And if you tap on the Explore button, this will allow you to basically uh, go to files, go to uh, files by Google and you can look at what's on the memory card. Now this is a memory card I've used in other phones before. So there's already some files that are on the card and I can look through here and just look at some of the files. One important folder to pay attention to is the DCIM, which is your digital camera imaging um, folder. And that's not the total acronym, but basically this is where all your um, pictures are saved when you take a picture on your phone. When it saves on the memory card, it saves it in this folder. So I can come in here and I can look at a bunch of pictures that have been taken uh, with this card on other phones. Now, another thing you wanna look for, you wanna swipe down from the top, swipe down a second time and tap on the settings wheel. And in the settings, we can also look at the storage. So go to your storage section. And here, notice storage, it says this device. And to the right of this device, there's a little drop down arrow if you tap on that. You can switch to your Samsung SD card. And here it's gonna tell us exactly how much storage is uh, total the card. So this is a 120 gig card. And of that, 71 gigs are already being used. So this is just a quick way to check and see how much storage is available. And again, if you tap on files, this will take you to the files app where you can look at the files that we just did. Um, you can turn on the storage manager and this just again gives you more data more visuals on the memory card and That's it. So basically what this is what you should see once you install the memory card However, if you come here and no memory card shows up you have a problem So you, the phone should give you a pop-up that tells you it has recognized it on the phone So that's the first thing we've installed it. We've checked to make sure the phone is reading it the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your camera app and you want to basically look for this pop-up. It says, hey, SD card is available. Do you want to store your photos and videos on your SD card? You want to say sure. So essentially, whenever you take a picture or a video, it's going to save them directly to the memory card and not take up your internal storage. This is the main reason why people buy memory cards, so they can have plenty of space to take pictures and videos. So you look for that pop-up, you hit sure, and now when I take 
a picture or a video, they're gonna save right to the memory card. I just took two pictures here. Let's go home. Now, if you go to photos right here, and then I'm not gonna turn on the backup right now. And next, you're gonna go to library. We go to library. This is our camera folder. And if you notice, there's a little memory card icon right next to camera. And this is telling you that these pictures are being saved to the memory card. This is a picture that we just took, okay? So that's how you basically validate that the pictures are being saved to the right place. You go to Google Photos, go to Library, and you should see that little memory card icon next to camera. So perfect, we've just changed the phone settings and now our pictures and videos are gonna save to the right place. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up with going over, uh, can you save apps to the memory card? And the answer is no. Um, this is no longer an option within the Android operating system. Now, that's out of the box. Now, if you were to root the phone, there are ways to work around that and save apps to the memory card. I do not recommend it because um, it, it doesn't always work as smooth when the apps are saved to the memory card and it depends on what type of memory card and if it's not fast enough. Again, it can affect your experience. So out of the box, you can't save the apps to the memory card. You can only save pictures, videos, and documents. Um, so just someone's going to ask me that in the comments and I wanted to make sure I addressed that before the video is over. I'm going to link here to another great deal on a micro SD card and leave me some feedback in the comment section down below. Let me know if this video was helpful. Uh, I'm going to link here to my playlist that so have all my other Moto G stylus videos. So definitely check out that playlist and here I'll link to another really helpful video as well. If you got value out of the video, bump that like button down below. If you're not a rated subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.